Hi guys, Jeff Clark, Sources Apprentice. It's the middle of October, so garage sale season is done, right? Hold on, hit the brakes, not entirely. Today I saw two garage sale signs. I hit both of them, and boy, am I glad I did. Now, if you guys have been following me, you know that I have not been doing a whole lot of sourcing. Well, that doesn't mean I'm not doing any sourcing. The reason for that, of course, is that I am digging through my profit pile. I've got my zero profit pile challenge going on. But today, I drove by a couple of garage sale signs and just felt I wanted to stop. And I'm so glad I did, because I'm going to make a whole bunch of money. You ready to see what I got? All right, let me show you. First of all, a couple of kitchen items here. This is really cute little rival potpourri crock. I'm guessing that's from the 80s. Paid $3 for that. That should sell for $20, $25. It's in original packaging. It's used, but the original packaging will help bring the price up. Here is a vintage GE waffle maker. I'm guessing this is from the 60s. Neat little Art Deco kind of design on there. Uh, pretty good shape. Going to clean it up a little bit. Paid uh, $6 for that. Uh, last sale on eBay, $70. Bucks. Yahoo. Okay, this is the thing I am most excited about. What is it? I had absolutely no idea. I just saw that it's some kind of complicated machine. Price 20 bucks. Look it up on eBay. Last sold on eBay, $150. Now, looking at the designs here, I'm a pretty smart guy. I can figure out that uh, this is a wire binder. So, like you put a bunch of pages together and you make yourself a wire book. So, 150 bucks just for the machine. Hold on. I've also got a whole bunch of wires to go with it. So, that'll make a nice package deal. I'll probably list that for $200 on eBay. Yay, Jeff. Um, only paid five bucks a piece for these here. So, total... Oh, no, that's not true. That's not true. Uh, she bundled all of this together for me. I said, hey, you know, can you make me an offer? So she put all this together and only charged me 35 bucks for all this. 35 to 200 You bet. I'll do that any day. Also got a corner rounder here. I've sold these before. Uh, paid 10 bucks for that. Last sale on eBay, $100. Got some good nursing books here for a dollar. Those will do well. What do you mean is still sealed? Um, on Amazon, that is going for, I think, I think close to 20 bucks I paid two here is the second garage sale I went to got a bunch of board games and one um, Disney puzzle now uh, if you guys have been if you guys sell on Amazon you know that several months ago they uh, changed their rules for uh, vintage toy or for uh, the whole toy category actually and it affected the vintage toys um, the most, at least it did for me, because I sell a lot of vintage toys, like collectible board games and stuff. So I looked all these up on eBay, and I'm pretty excited. My total spend here for the games was uh, 75 bucks, and um, this Ticket to Ride has a uh, has a sale for um, 75 bucks in used condition. This one is in used condition. The I Love Lucy back there, it's still good to go on Amazon. Uh, last sale on eBay is like 50, 60 bucks, but right now the lowest um, on Amazon is $90. And again, I paid 75 for everything. So there's a lot of gravy. So hey, I feel pretty, oh, one more thing. I paid five bucks for a new office chair. Look at that, it's a really, really nice condition. So it's not always about getting stuff to sell, sometimes it's about getting stuff to use. Anyway, really happy that I stopped today. Uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys are finding in your garage sale sourcing.